it's time for Havanese Grooming. Yay! Hi, I am here trimming a couple of Havanese. And this is a puppy who is about six months old. He was neutered not too long ago, so he does have his hair trimmed here that they normally do for neutering. Good boy. So what we're going to do is keep his hair from getting too long and keeping it easy to maintain. So I'm using iGroom Magic Mist Spray on him to lay his coat down. And I really like the length of his coat right now. He comes in every four weeks for maintenance. And his people are doing a fabulous job keeping up with him. So what I'm going to do is try to maintain this look that he has and keep it about this length. Just trimming it up so it doesn't become excessive. Because his look is kind of just perfect. And we don't want to ruin that. Stand. Good boy. Stand. So I've been doing him since he was 16 weeks old and he's learning his table manners very well. I just want to keep a nice shape on him. Good boy. I've already trimmed the pads of his feet, his belly, and the corners of his eyes. He does have some of this puppy look broken hair in areas. This part's laying down nicely. So where it looks a little broken and out of whack, I'm just gonna snip that off. Give him a nice shape to his neck. When a puppy is properly raised and trained for grooming, such as this puppy has been, then we do not have naughty behaviors. His people have learned to keep him brushed, which makes the grooming experience so much better if you can do a proper job of brushing. Havanese tend to be very sensitive under the tail and inside the ears. So I'm only going to snip this with scissors. I'm not going to clipper it. Correctly done. A Havanese is very long and shaggy. But that's not practical for home life for many pets. It takes a lot of dedication to keep a full coat and it can get messy out in the wet grass.
when coming into my salon and you would like this style, what you would request is a trim up and then ask for however many inches you want shortened. This dog I shortened about an inch and a half. Which means he still has a depth of three inches of coat. So if you want three inches of coat left, this is what you would ask for. Trim up with three inches of coat left. This keeps that natural, flowy, shaggy look. I know, it's just terrible. Without it being excessive. So now, I'm going to work on his face. We're going to soften it and retain some of the puppy features. Correctly done, I have an ease keeps quite the beard. But that can be wet and messy around the house. Chipper! His brother is barking. We're going to do his brother next. His brother has a different coat type. We're going to take more off on his brother. This coat type tends to lay down quite nicely. So to create this head, I'm keeping all this hair long and flowing this off the sides, but the mustache and beard I'm keeping long but rounded. And by keeping this flowing down, we're retaining that floppy Havanese look without overdoing it. I know. I want this to come over to the sides, but we're gonna want him to see. So I'm going to keep this going off to the side. And then right in here, I'm going to gently take this away with thinning shears. Keep it soft and natural. He's got this hair growing down over his eye. So I'm gonna take that. But I kept all of the eyelashes and all of the framing. This is the framing. It's that soft, flowy look that makes a havany so cute. And he's got this black I want to balance in. And you can see he's got this half black mustache, which is quite cute.
those of you who like perfect scissoring and balance might be um, they might find it difficult to learn the shaggy trims because you always want to go in and make it perfect but sometimes perfection is your enemy. Sometimes a perfectly scissored dog is not at all what is desired. Sometimes a trimmed up shaggy dog is absolutely adorable. So this is a cute trimmed up Havanese hairstyle on a six, seven month old puppy. So here is some more adorable Havanese cuteness. Chip here has a very thick coat. It's one of those coats that stands up and out. What I'm going to do is use this conditioner on him as a spray. This will help me to get through this thick hair much easier. I'm going to try the green comb. See how much hair it takes off. That looks just about right. I comb the hair to lay down. Now I'm trimming the hair in the lay direction of the lay of the coat. Which is very quickly giving me a beautiful effect. I'm only going to do the trunk of the body, not the legs. I want to keep big, fat, full legs on him. I'm skimming off the outside of the leg, but not doing the whole leg. Rounding under the rib cage. Because he has such thick hair, I'm going to come up under the ears and take that the same length as the body so it doesn't poof out. He gets a haircut once a month, so he is in really good shape and his people keep him brushed perfectly.
on his underside. Right there. I'm going to take it straight up the middle with a four blade for ease of maintenance. He doesn't need this hair under here. I'm also going to skim off the inside of the back legs with the four blade. So because he's a Havanese, I'm trying to achieve a soft, flowy look, even though he has this really thick hair. So my goal is to not over trim it, and my goal is to not make it perfect. Because even though he's getting a haircut, the breed characteristic is still a shaggy, kind of scruffy looking little dog. And not a perfectly manicured dog. He had a dental not too long ago, so he's missing the hair from his IV here. So we're pretending that just didn't happen. And working around it. keeping big fat feet because I like big fat feet on my shaggy looking dogs. If you take the feet too tight, then they start looking too manicured. If you're a professional pet groomer, learning how to properly groom certain breeds like wheat and terriers and such can really benefit you when you're doing pet trims on dogs that you want to keep flowy looking. like close up. And now we're going to work on his face. So he grows a different type of hair on his top knot than he does on his body. His body is very thick. His top knot is very flat and flowy. Yes, that's what I said. I said your top knot is flat and flowy. Okay. So we're just gonna part it down the middle and take what actually comes out here over the eyes. Correctly done, a Havanese gets no hair trimmed at the corner of the eyes and no hair trimmed over the eyes. But in the real world for a dog living as a pet dog in your home, that's not always practical. It requires a great deal of maintenance and dedication to keep that top knot long. So I'm trimming this hair out of his mouth and right off the nose itself. So you can see that button nose without hair falling on it. There we go. Here we go. It's my boy does have a little bit of hair flipping up here that I don't like. So I'm going to take my thinning shears and just blend that out. And go right up in here with my thinners. 
kind of enhance that parted look. So now we have this framing that I love on a Havanese. He doesn't need too much up here today. Blend off some of the staining. That's a good boy. So, I don't like how it's looking from the sides. So I want to get a bit more of a natural flow here. Use my thinning shears and just angle it up a hair. dry but he kind of drooled a little bit. You want to pick up the ears and look for any hair that's hanging down out of whack here. So that when they're at home and they perk up their ears you don't see anything hanging down all weird. Especially when you have black on top of white you can really see it. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. I always pay attention to these pieces, like you see that one piece going into his mouth. I always pay attention to those. Because I want the dog to be happy and feel good. Yeah, I just gotta make him feel good. And just look for anything that goes astray to finish up. There we have a nice floppy Havanese trim.